City, Ada County Housing Authority. He's worked with Two Birds, the student-led ad agency that works with businesses and nonprofits. At Bora High School, he's been involved with the Gender and Sexuality Alliance, the National Honor Society, and he's president of the Spanish Honor Society. He has he's been active in political campaigns and he led a student to walk out to protest after the Parkland Florida shootings. So please welcome to the City Club podium, Garrett Richardson. I'd like to start by giving thanks to the City Club of Boise and to everyone who's made this event possible. Civic engagement, student activism have been things that have been very important to my life and have been for a very long time, and I'm very grateful and honored to be receiving uh, this recognition today. One of the central themes of French philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre's philosophy is the idea that we're born into a world that is inherently without any sort of structure, and ultimately it's up to us to give the world that structure. And while thankfully things are changing, many of us today feel disheartened by the structures that are in place currently and feel like we are powerless to change them. Uh, complicity with the status quo is incredibly easy, but unfortunately it often makes us overlook the issues that are happening in our communities, in our country, and in the world more over. But now is not the time for complicity. Now more than ever, we need to be actively seeking out change to change the structures that are leading to hatred, violence, and discrimination in our country and our societies. from a young age that it's not okay to discuss political or controversial issues. And we as young people, and as students especially, are frequently belittled in political spheres, told that we don't know what we're talking about. But we need to start changing both of these mindsets, because they're incredibly harmful to political discourse in the entire country. Ultimately, what we need to do is we need to recognize that student voices are just as valid and impactful as everyone else's. And by discouraging student voices now, we discourage students from participating in the future. And we need to put an, uh, the end to this idea that we can't civilly discuss controversial and complex topics like gun control, marijuana legalization, or even a new library downtown. Well, yes, these are very complex and co issues, and conversations can be very challenging, but they're absolutely necessary in order to foster understanding and ultimately change in the world. Last year, Last year, my friend Grace and I led a walkout at Bora after the Parkland shooting, and we gathered outside the school and simply opened up a dialogue. We invited students to share their stories of how gun violence has personally impacted their own lives, and we invited other students to share their opinions on what our legislators need to do in order to protect us and ensure that this issue comes to an end. Ultimately, what we see is that student activism is incredibly important, but is often belittled. Later that day, I saw many comments online from people saying that we didn't know why we were there, or that we were doing it just to get out of class. But if you were down there, you would know that none of these things are true. And just as our involvement in civic discourse is important, so too is our activism and our actual involvement. We're inheriting a world that has made significant societal progress, but still has a very long way to go. In South America, indigenous people are being stripped of the rights to their land. In 2015, we did achieve marriage equality, but in Idaho in 2019, we still have not added the words gender identity and sexual orientation to our state's human rights. We've made significant strides in gender equality, but the gender pay gap continues to grow. And in February of this year, our legislature killed a bill that would have ended child marriage in the state of Idaho. Clearly, we have a long way to go. And it doesn't simply mean that we leave our opinions at the ballot box. It means that we remain active and engaged citizens throughout our years and throughout our lives. Because these things are incredibly important and we have to work tirelessly to change them. So it's time to teach students and young people that it's okay to discuss political and controversial issues. Let's encourage them to attend demonstrations and to form their own opinions. Let's stop telling students that they don't deserve a voice in our political conversations or that they don't know what they're talking about. We need an actively engaged population at all levels of government and across all age groups. We need to let our legislators and our lawmakers know that we care about these issues and that we care deeply about them. And we do this by attending demonstrations, by attending protests, and letting our voices be heard. 
Let's change the structures that we've been born into. Let's rewrite the stories that we've been telling for far too long. Let's change the mindsets that are leading to dampened discourse, and let's create a more informed, more open, and more engaged society that fights for the human rights of all citizens. Thank you.